Hello again, this is your Headless Piano Teacher and this is the third in a series of short little videos on chord substitutions. The first su chord substitution technique we took up was to ask ourselves into what other chord uh, what other chord this melody note fits. So if the melody note fit in C, it might also fit in E minor or it might fit in E flat or it might flit, fit in A flat major 7th or it might fit in G or G minor 7th. There's lots and lots of chords the melody note will fit in. So you just ask yourself into what other chord will this melody note fit. And then the second video was uh, on 7th chords. For any 7th chord, you can substitute a chord that's a 4th below the root and make it a minor 7th. So for C 7th we can substitute G minor 7th and then go back to go back to C 7th, resolve to C 7th. Okay. For G 7th, for example, the fourth note below that is D. So for, uh, for G 7th, we can substitute D minor 7th and then resolve to G. Okay. So for any 7th chord, no matter what it is, you can go down a fourth and substitute a minor 7th and then resolve back to the chord. By the way, you don't have to resolve back to the chord, but usually that, that's the case. So, so you have this kind of feeling. Okay, and the third chord te uh, substitution technique I'd like to talk about are called half-step slides. Anytime you're moving from one chord to another, look for opportunities to do half-step slides. What do I mean by that? Well, let's say we're going from C to F, the C chord to the F chord, okay? Well, what's a half-step above F? It's F sharp. So I should look for the opportunity to play an F sharp chord right before I play an F chord, or what's a half step below F? E. To play an E chord right before I go to F. And usually you can use the seventh. Uh, if you use the seventh, that makes it s smoother. For example, let's say I'm on C. I'm going to F. There's, there's a G flat seventh. That's a half step above F. See? And then I just slide down to F. Let's say I'm on, uh, on G seventh, and I'm going to C. What's a half step above C? It's D flat, isn't it? So I'll play a D flat seventh chord. Watch. And again, if you can use a seventh or a ninth, it, it's smoother. But even if you don't, it's still a good chord substitution. Okay. Uh, let's do one more, then we'll call it. Uh, if you have a, uh, let's say that we're going from a F chord to a B flat chord. What's a half step below uh, B? B flat. It's A, isn't it? So we could play A seventh and slide up to B flat. Or we could play the B chord and slide down to B flat. Let me do that in context. Now I voiced that, you know, with contemporary voicing. Uh, meaning I'm using ninths and elevenths and so on, but it's still the B chord going down to B flat. So look for opportunities to uh, to do half step slides, uh, one half step above or one half step below the chord you're going to. So that's it for chord substitutions. Three basic techniques. Ask yourself first of all, what other chord will this melody note fit in? Secondly, for any seventh chord, ask yourself, uh, what's the fourth below and build a minor seven. And thirdly. Uh, anytime you're moving to a new chord, ask yourself what's a half step above it or below it, and then play that before you resolve to the chord itself. Okay, thanks for being with me, and if you enjoy these little tips, come on over to Play Piano and sign up for our free newsletter, which comes by email every three or four days, and I'll give you more and more tips like this. So thanks for being with me, and bye-bye for now.